This conference will now be recorded. So before we jump into anything about automation and stuff, so could you please tell, I mean, how many are from IT background here in the room? How many are from IT background? How many of you are new to testing industry? How many of you are new uh, start, uh, to start their careers? It's okay. It's an open platform to talk, guys. Go ahead. I'm from non-IT background. Okay. So the coding, this testing concept is everything is new for you, right? Yes. Chris? I, uh, I have some experience in manual testing and um, mm -hmm. I also have some knowledge in Java. Okay. Currently you're working or not working? No, right now I am on bench. I'm looking for the new opportunity. Okay. Cool. So how about others? How about others? Like Akil, yeah, currently, uh, I am Akhil and currently I'm working as an, an operations team. Currently you're working as an operations team. Yeah. Okay. IT operations. Okay. So, uh, the next thing is why we have chose. Uh, all know what is uh, some of them know what is testing. Some of them don't know what is testing. So, so testing. What is testing all about? First of all, the first point is what is testing all about. Okay. What is testing all about? Uh, it's all about deploying the right code into the production. Just, just a moment. Just a moment, guys. So someone was saying something. I saw, I'm so sorry, I missed the point. Yeah, it's all about uh, testing the right code and deploying it into the production. Mm -hmm. And finding the bugs. So how about others? Uh, ensuring the function requirements given by the client are met uh, with the maximum text uh, test availability radar. Okay. How about others? How about others? Yeah, can you go to find out the functionality checking. So Raj Shekhar, Mohan, Daljeet. Hi, hi team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. 
yeah, actually, hi, uh, I was missing. Yes, sir, hi. I was missing that question. So, what is testing all about? Yeah, testing is nothing but we will like uh, check the whether uh, developer software is uh, functionality uh, wise it is working or not. So, the expected uh, results are uh, coming or not. The software uh, is uh, reaching or not. This uh, in this way we will uh, test the software like in uh, different races. So sorry, Rajshekar, yeah, could you repeat it? Hello. Yeah, could you repeat your point, Rashid? Yeah. <clears throat> software testing is uh, we will uh, test the software uh, whichever we developed for the customer requirement. So mm. which is uh, reach uh, or not uh, the requirements uh, in that way, we'll check the functionality testing. Mm -hmm. So whereas the non-functional testing we have like we'll take like uh, so the developer software uh, is uh, uh, meets our requirement or not in that way we will test in non-functional testing like the uh, like load uh, load testing and uh, <clears throat> sorry load testing and like uh, uh, response uh, these uh, things we will test in that mm -hmm. so how response how quickly the application is uh, responding. So, mm -hmm. is there any delay between like uh, client and server? Mm -hmm. And how much time it is taking uh, to get the response? So, so what is the DB? Uh, so, mm -hmm. server is uh, how the response the, in that way we will test. And functionality wise, we will check like the all the requirements, all the buttons are working or not. So, so something. Uh, Defect we find, and then uh, we will uh, work on that. And uh, once updates uh, if they develop, and then we will retest it again, and then we will uh, deliver it. So, <clears throat> quality uh, product to the customer. Okay. So, how about others? Rachi, Jaya, Hari. So I hope everyone is able to see the slide. Yes. Hope everyone is able to see the screen. So if if you are unable to talk, you can type it in the chat window. I will also look into the chat window. Okay. So so you uh, you guys discuss about what is testing, the purpose of testing, and what is it all about and stuff. So. We all know why testing is important. So in that, why automation testing is important. So can anyone give their views about why automation testing is important? If you know, it's fine. If you don't know also, it's totally fine. I'll fill in for you. Yeah, Amrita, go ahead. Yeah, we need to reduce a mundane work that a usually a manual tester does. Uh, yeah. And also, it helps in uh, the regression testing as well. Many times. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'll take a go ahead. Rashika, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So automation automation testing is like uh, we will automate the manual scripts uh, with the different multiple users. So to test the uh, response and uh, all the functionalities are working or not. So like uh, all uploadings or downloadings, whatever the images or whatever the documents content. So the page uh, is uh, responses are uh, getting or not. See if there are any uh, defects if you are finding. So if there are any uh, issues we find then in that way we will uh, test the software by using automation scripts. 
like we will test like with uh, cross browsing test and multiple uh, environments different environments in this way we will do the automation test nice 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 rashekar would anyone else would like to throw a view on this before i speak about why automation testing is important anyone else it's okay if you're saying a wrong answer no one is going to judge you here no no one is going to tell you that you are speaking something wrong go ahead yeah prachi go ahead yeah hi uh actually uh, uh like uh, when the software grows gradually like uh, it uh, multiple units has been integrated and uh, hmm, like uh, hmm, like uh, uh, so, so it happens like when we get a new build so testing uh, uh, to do a sanity testing from end to end it becomes challenging when uh, software is big so that's where the automation uh, like uh, helps to, to, to test a regression like uh, we can have a pre built automated uh, scenario for end to end and uh, we can just run it uh, so in that okay 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 cool perfect uh, just a moment I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Let's continue our discussion. Uh, so let me jump into the point directly. Why automation testing is so important? Because all the time we cannot sit in front of the system and do do the same process again and again, right? 
if i ask you to do if i want you to have the same meals for next one month would you guys be able to have it yes or no would you guys be able to have the same meal for next one month rashikar no amrita purvika no it's not guys can so the same thing if you are trying to test the same application for once or twice it works fine for n number of times it doesn't work out right yeah yeah yes got it yes so that is the main reason the concept of automation has started now another reason why automation is important is we need to test the same application in different different places like today i want to test the same application in amrita system today i want to test the same application in jaya system or i want to test the same application in rajseka system and the process and all yeah so how will it work it is very difficult right manually to sit and do it in front of everyone and get the status report or something so when you build a robust automation script which is use which is useful then on a button click you will get the execution reports results for each and every report yeah got it yes any doubts another thing with automation is reliability so it can perform the same action again and again for n number of times got it yes is it clear any doubts no hmm. another thing is Uh, it increase it decreases the execution time I mean, it decreases the execution time like the execution of automation scripts is so fast that it will be executed in a flash okay it will be executed in a flash no matter what clear is this clear everyone yes so this is why automation testing is very much important i hope everyone is clear with this point why automation testing is important yes so what can you infer from this image everyone what can you infer from this image An automated guy can do multiple tasks. Whereas uh, your voice is breaking. Can you repeat it again, please? Am I audible now? Yeah, go ahead, Amrita. A manual tester is taking a lot of time to complete a set of tasks, whereas a, a automated automation engineer or the tester can does can do multiple tasks mm -hmm. at a less okay. time given. Yeah. Okay. So how about others? It can be uh, tested uh, in multiple browsers and devices in less time, and uh, it, one person can do. Um, also testing or like um, any mobile. If it is, uh, yeah, that multiple devices or. and we done using the same automatic okay nice very nice rajji how about you rajshekar what can you infer from this match uh yes a uh, manual it will take lot of time to uh, find the bugs so it's uh, like uh, it's expensive and where uh, compared to automation uh, like we can uh, automate a uh, number of uh, scripts with a number of uh, uh, in number of uh, browsers and number of devices in number of locations so we can share the results uh, and we can find more uh, 
or defects in uh, uh, in less time only so it's very proficient yeah compared to manual how about others anyone could drop fire any one other person could drop in on this Anyone else? So, all of you, whatever you said about this image is absolutely right. But uh, we should never ever rule out that uh, this phase happens whenever the product is going like that means whenever the product is about to go to production so what is happening uh, we are all juggling the things right yes or no we are all the manual tester is juggling between multiple tasks because he needs to prepare the excel report he needs to validate the test cases he needs to prepare this report that report whatsoever yes or no yes, yes or no guys Yes. So, yes. whereas in automation, he has spent, he or she has spent around six months to one year of the project lifecycle to build the automation script. So, once he or she has built the automation script, on a single click of play button, it will be executed in multiple places, multiple environments. And you can also do a quick comparison check of this functionality, how it is working in this location, that location and all. And you can get a hands-on report easily, right? Yes. Clear? Is it clear? Uh, just a question here, Rahul. So before uh, the product is going to uh, the prod environment or live, uh, you mean to say that automation uh, will not help or it helps? I'm sorry. Uh, before the product is going live also, automation will help. Why? Because uh, because it is very difficult for manual team to perform all, all the things, right? At the peakest of the times. Because when That's the product correct. is going live, the, it is very difficult for all the things to be done by manual testers. So what what is the smartest approach that most of the companies are implementing now is they are building the automation suit to test the common, common functionalities and the manual testers to test the anomaly scenarios, like the difficult scenarios or the scenarios where the application is prone to breakage. This is the smartest way of testing when the product is going live or about to go live or something like that. Okay. And in fact, automation is also used for test data preparation also. If you are smart enough, automation is also used for test data preparation. So what happens? Automation scripts will prepare the test data and based on the test data, we can also prepare the scenarios. Got it? Got it, everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Clear any doubts? Any doubts, guys? Clear? Uh, when when we are talking about test data, so uh, like we uh, test data in the sense like if some specific. Uh, uh, data is required uh, like uh, using uh, functional automations in, in so like uh, like can... uh, it's just like now i want to make thousand payments to a particular account manually it is not possible right so through automation yeah. it is feasible right like that like, uh, that ah. i think that is possible using uh, load test uh, script size no i mean load testing is one thing load testing what happens you do you do the testing from backend APIs. There, there is another concept of doing load testing from UI also. That's where automation can also help you. If there's someone asks you to prepare 
hundred accounts, generate thousand invoices for thousand accounts. That time load testing will not work out right. The J meter or load run or whatever you use. That time you need to use the automation scripts. Yeah. If you want to do so many sort of financial adjustments, that time was so that, automation. So uh, you are telling that we uh, the automation script you have to run it for multiple iteration and uh, get it. Yeah. Done. Because uh, yes, yes. Uh, in in like I, I actually I am I have a little background in load testing, so using like uh, uh, load runner script or JMeter script. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Have because to that also works. But the thing with low runners or JMeters is they directly interact with the APIs. Here in automation, we don't interact with the APIs. We interact with the application. So on continuous stress, also we can understand how the application is performing. Very slow, fast, whatever it is. This is another metrics of doing the load testing, Prachi. I mean, that is also right. This is also right. Is this clear, Prachi? Yes. So yes. what are the advantages of automation? Reliability, repeatable, comprehensive, better quality software. What do you mean by reliable? The test cases perform precisely the same operations each time they run, thereby eliminating human error. Got it? What do you mean by repeatable? Enabling the capability to test how the software reacts under repeated execution. Yeah. Is this point clear, right? Reliability and reliable, repeatable. And what do you mean by comprehensiveness? It provides the ability to build a suite of tests that covers each and every feature in your application. Got it? Got it, everyone? Better quality software. Ability to run more test cases in less amount of time with reduced team size. So just remember this point because this is the thing that attracts most of the project managers. Why automation testing? There will be a question that you might be asked in the interview or you might, your manager might ask you why automation testing needs to be implemented. Just tell this point. We can run more test cases in less amount of time with reduced team size. So these are the attractive keywords that always all the service delivery managers or the higher management looks into it. What do you mean by reusability? Reuse, uh, we can run the same code on different versions of the application. Got it? Like yesterday we have a one more release of the code. Day before yesterday we have another release. And today we have another release of the code. So in such situations we can, use, we can enable the reusability even if the UI of the application changes. Got it? Got it, guys? Is it clear, everyone? So what do you mean by programmable? We, by programming the automation scripts, we can bring out some hidden information that is from the present within the application. So the best example would be in my real time, real, real time automation scenario is that uh, when we were automating the test scripts and running the same code, running the code on seven different browsers, we were observed that login is taking a lot of time to do. Manually, we couldn't find this issue, but when we are doing using automation, we found that login is taking a lot of time. So what was the root cause we found was the networking protocols that were maintained for the application was not proper. So with this, they have corrected the networking protocols and by that, the application was working really good, really amazing. Got it? Got it, everyone? Then, as I've told you, fast. Automation scripts run significantly faster than the manual process. So what is cost reduction? When there is reduced, when reduced team size is working, then obviously the cost also will be reduced, right? The re reduction in cost will be delivered as profits to the project. Is it clear, guys? What are the advantages of automation? Kamesh, Rachi, Rashekar, Amrita, yes. Ganesh. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Clear. So these are the advantages of automation.
And what is the other areas that automation gives us the advantage? Accuracy. It performs the same action with greater precision, lower errors than manual testing. Okay. So resource optimization frees the testing resources from the test execution of software builds that are frequently given by the development team. So what happens in this situation is that every night we can get some new builds from the software. I mean, every night we get some new builds from the development team. Okay. So it is impossible for the testing team to sit around there and test every day and go back to home, right? So when you have a proper automation suit ready in place, so the automation scripts will always test the nightly builds. You need not be sitting there and seeing how the application is working. So what is effect wider test coverage? So when there are larger number of cases that are automated, so what happens? The manual team also can increase the scope of coverage, scope of coverage of the application. Because when the automation starts covering the application in multiple areas, then manual team also can start covering the areas which are not covered by automation. I hope these points are clear. I hope these points are clear, everyone. If yes, put a yes in the chat box. Uh, means uh, uh, like which are not covered in automation step that uh, like over that uh, manual team can focus. Is that what? Yeah, means? over. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Is it clear? Yeah, clear. So, uh, speed, as I've told you, the speed of the execution is speed of the execution is something else uh, what i have told you in the previous point the automation execution is so fast that it goes like a tracer bullet you can't even see what is happening got it is it clear everyone so uh, all of you can see this graph, right? What can you infer from this graph? Yeah, we can uh, do the automation in uh, very less time when compared to that uh, manual testing so for different different test suits that is what it is yeah. depicting it so how yes. about others yeah yeah thanks Rashika. how about others uh, it's like yeah different different tests like regression of sanity and smoke like how much effort is needed for a manual test and how much uh, is needed for automation test uh, no, I think that. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Prachi. It's okay. You can be wrong. You can also say wrong. Yeah, yeah. So I can see that full regression um, and like maximum could be covered. Maybe uh, like manual effort is more, but uh, it's like uh, one tenth of effort is needed for the automation tester to do a full regression. And similarly, partial regression also. Um, like like the part is required for automation tester but it's kind of comparison effort needed for uh, manual and you know, for automation tester for different, different testing scenario okay nice nice so as everyone said this is what i'm able to depict from the class graph that if a robust automation framework or suit is built then only you can see the fruits of using the automation if you just write some sample script and if you see ask it like reduce it uh, the execution time should be reduced from day one that is not going to happen you need to build a robust framework you need to build a robust code in such a way that uh, it will it can handle any kind of a situation in less amount of time 
got it got it everyone now before jumping into automation concepts and automation stuff so what are the five different things that you need to follow the first thing is never ever create a mess of your automation scripts whatever you are trying to automate automate with some clarity like whatever you are trying to automate automate with some what you are wanting to do so so avoid complex logic in your scripts so write the logic which is necessary for your scripts don't write don't create a mess of the logic don't create some complex logic so that you you can demonstrate depict or demo demonstrate that you are good enough third thing 100% automation is never ever possible because we cannot handle captchas we cannot do any sort of image processing with automation we cannot do audio video testing and all the stuff whenever whenever some manager says 100% automation should happen tell them confidently that 100% automation is not at all feasible automation is just here to help ease the ease the testing process make the testing process more comfortable we are not replacing the manual testing team don't be under the assumption that once automation is there manual team will be replaced never manual testing team has their own role automation testing has their own role so as i have told you test automation is a software development process like we also need to build a code we need to write we need to write the code we need to build the framework we also need to do all the stuff got it Got it, everyone? Uh, yes, sir. Rahul, I have one question here. Go ahead. Yes, uh, as part of manual testing, uh, we can do all the functionality. We can test the all the functionalities. Whereas in automation testing, we can't do all the uh, functionalities as uh, yes. automation, right? Yeah, we cannot so, guarantee hundred percent of functionalities will be covered. Yeah. So, so far we have to identify the whatever the scenarios we can automate those. Uh, Things only we will cover. Yes. What is it? Eighty percent or ninety percent or seventy-five percent? Whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. Clear, everyone. Is this clear, guys? Ah, uh, one, one layman question, probably very, very trivial. Ah. Uh, uh, how, how can we differentiate? Uh, like, how can we say that this cannot be automated? Or you said some. So based on the manual test cases, like when we start automation, we'll have the set of manual test cases, right? When okay. we when we get our manual test cases, you know, right, which can be automated. Like if it is containing some captchas or image related stuff, you cannot automate. If you've seen like. You have a complex functionality which needs to be interacted with the desktop application. Then Selenium doesn't support uh, desktop applications, right? That time you can say it's not automatable. It all depends. Like it's a spontaneous decision that we take. There's no theory behind stating which can be automated, which cannot be automated, and something like that. Yeah. Okay. So can't we compare uh, based on the screenshots for the nightly build? Okay, no, no, no. It's it's not by it's not by screenshots. It's just like based on the test case, on the complexity of the test case on the flow. Based on that only we check it whether automation is possible or not. Ah, all right. Okay. And the UI uh, screenshots and all. If there are any modifications in the UI and all, that can't be captured. That yeah. can be captured. Right? Yeah, yeah. Every every screenshot can be captured by automation. Okay. Every screenshot okay. can be captured, but there are certain scenarios or used cases wherein a, a manual intervention is required. Yes. Okay. Is then probably like like yeah, like you have to share the folders in a desktop application as part of a test case. Selenium doesn't support you. Yes or no? No, Selenium is different. Definitely a, a, a browser application. I mean, like it, it supports only the browser things. For desktop applications, we have different tools, right? The page but, tools. But the desktop, yeah, desktop tools also have a separate tools, but those are not flexible enough to do these kind of testing. Come on. No, no, no company. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So I'm telling that even we have desktop automation tools like UFT and all the stuff. First of all, affording a UFT is a very big thing because the license of the US UFT is only it's charging like a bomb. And second thing, 
desktop automation is something uh, like we don't have complete control on the tool. If you want to make some changes, you have to talk to the UFT team and get the changes as per your thing. Got it? Yeah. So, okay, I, I'm just uh, referring to something here. Probably I'm not getting this point. If we dig deep, uh, probably only then I can understand this point. Yeah. So you cannot do audio and video testing, right? If there is some audio and video files in your website, can you do the testing for that with automation? No, right? This is something you listen and you view it to understand. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I can just check whether the audio and video files are existing or not, but I cannot validate the data. Yes. yes. Yeah. You cannot validate the biometrics. You can see as a human, you can validate your own biometrics. But I can't validate through automation, right? Yes or no? So definitely for biometrics, you require the manual testing a lot, right? Yeah. Now, if there is another concept. users per company or 100 users, for example, for one company, then hmm. how do you, you cannot, I don't know, probably I'm taking the wrong direction. Uh, so you need to spend some time in the subject to understand which can be automated, which cannot be automated. Like if you ask me a friend, it's very difficult for me to say multiple examples, right? Yeah, I get it. It, it. It's based on the FRS or whatever. Yeah. Or some used scenarios where we can decide uh, on the fly. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the thing. So any doubts, guys, so far? Any doubts, everyone, so far? All clear? Any doubts, Eva, we can ask. For today, we have just gone through the introduction of automation. And you want through, you want us to go through the course plan. It's a very big, it's a very big course plan that we have for now. I'll just show you. I hope you guys have gone through the course plan prior. Yes. So just I'll go through it briefly just for the sake of everyone. So as today we have discussed about what is testing and what is test automation today. We are yet to discuss from here. SDLC life cycle with respect to test automation. What are the different facts, case studies, and facts to prove why automation testing is important? Why Selenium is the tool that we use? What are the pros and cons compared to other tools? JDK setup and installation, installation of Eclipse and IntelliJ tools, Git bash installation. How do we use the different Git commands using IntelliJ? Using how do we perform the different Git commands using command prompt? Yeah. What are the different basics of Java? How do we create a new class? What are the different data types, wrapper classes? What are the different conditional and looping statements? Static versus non-static methods? Initialization of objects? Basics of constructor? Strings? Exception handling? Arrays? How do we combine all these concepts in your Selenium code? Yeah. So what are the different, why strings and collections are important from automation perspective? What are the different types of string functions? How do we use the string con utils concepts? How do we use different collections and their usage? Yeah. What is exception handling? How do we use multiple cache blocks with one try block? What is the difference between throws and throw method? How do we perform different file operations like write, read, copy? How do we perform inheritance? How do we perform the oh, real time oops concepts in real time? How do we create a Maven project and how do we add the dependencies? 
so what is selenium id what is selenium rc what are the different types of locators for searching the elements how do we find the elements based on different types of xpath how do we handle the tables what are the different weight concepts how do we handle the alert window pop-ups actions class how do we handle multiple windows and tabs how do we capture the screenshots how do we handle the frames and shadow frames how do we upload and download the files is it clear everyone the topics that we are covering the different concepts in test engine and cucumber then we cover the concept of properties file excel operations json operations how do we generate reports how do we do api testing how do we how do we work on the database concepts we'll also be teaching you how to the basics of database and how do we work on it yep is it clear everyone uh, yeah rahul so as part of api testing uh... We will cover uh, only REST APIs or uh, so we may only REST. Only REST. Only REST. Only REST. Okay, fine. So yes. here uh, I have uh, one question. Like uh, we have another tool, Cypress, right? Yes. Like uh, Selenium. So we. So uh, I'm. So I have a clarification, right? Uh, like uh, which tool is best in the market? Uh, See, in it. Present. Okay. You're working in India, Selenium is the tool that okay. everyone is looking out for. First of all, the simple reason okay. is it can also work in Linux and Mac. Cypress works in Windows. Okay. okay. So yeah. Okay. Platform independent. Second thing, Cypress okay. supports only okay. JavaScript. Selenium supports okay. Java, Python, C hash, Ruby, everything. Okay. Okay. It will support multiple languages. Okay. Multiple languages, platform independent, easy to easy to use okay but bo both are uh, open sources right both are open source see okay. cypress supports chrome and firefox selenium supports chrome firefox edge safari opera mm -hmm. okay, multiple projects yeah it is very difficult okay. to switch between the windows it's okay. very difficult uh, to handle cypress, the cypress huh? yeah Whereas in Selenium, okay. we can handle it easily. The only advantage Cypress has is it has a default reporting mechanism. Selenium doesn't have any re default reporting mechanism. Okay, okay. Uh, reporting with uh, the Selenium tool, it will, uh, by itself, it will generate, huh? No, Cypress will generate by itself. Selenium will, you will have to write a code to generate a reporting tool. You have to use some third party plugins to generate the reports. Okay, okay. So, Oh, we can integrate with Selenium, right? Those uh, plugins. Yeah, yeah. See, we can okay. see that is why we say Selenium is more flexible, right? You can create your okay. own reporting tool of your choice and you can put it. Okay. Okay. In Cypress, you have to follow the reporting tool that it has given. Okay, okay. Fine. Got it. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, one more thing uh, like uh, uh, the integration part is there, no? so like CICD. Jenkins, uh, we are Jenkins, uh, yeah, Jenkins. Jenkins. So Jenkins. Stuff. Okay. So Jenkins in the sense, so uh, uh, integration, everything, uh, the configuration yeah. part, everything will cover or how? Oh, see, what is needed for automation? I will cover that much. Jenkins is a very big subject. If I start teaching everything of Jenkins, it will take another one month for me. I'll teach what <laughs> okay. is necessary for automation. Okay. So, uh, okay. Uh, I mean, uh, like. Uh, Integration with Selenium, uh, that much is yeah, enough, yeah, just, right? That is that much is enough for us. Okay. And re Fine. the office environment also will not be given to set up to do the Jenkins. They will only do the setup and they'll give you. You just need to trigger the pipelines. Okay, we'll just run the jobs only. Yeah, it will be of more on the running of jobs. Okay, okay. But here uh, you will cover, right? That uh, integration part of the how to yeah, we, integrate. We will yeah. cover. We will cover how do you install, how do you open, how do you create a local host. Everything will be covered here. But what is okay. essential for your company, you follow that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That 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 will be fine. Yes. Any uh, anyone else? Any doubts? Yeah, uh, Rahul, I have a question. Like, uh, we uh, like. 
I don't know the the different flavors or what the cerulean has different different things like uh, IDE the driver are, but like we are covering only IDE or C. So like we are covering I only. I even don't know that uh, like what are the purpose of uh, the different flavors. Like, there is a uh, selenium web driver also, right? See, selenium web driver is the only thing we are covering because in the companies we are using only selenium web driver. First of all. There so is no this selenium. this IDE RC these these two these are these are only for available. these are only good for your interview. Maybe I'll get to know once we move on. Mm. I still am not able to. Like, I know your yeah. I understand your curiosity, Prachi, but you have to spend some time with the class and the subject to understand the sequence of things that we are yeah. planning for you. Yeah. Yeah, Manu Kamesh, tell me. So anyone else has any doubts? You can ask me. You have three more minutes to go. How, how many classes uh, will it take to cover all these topics? Uh, uh -huh. How many means it will take 30 to 45 days. 30 to 45 classes, if, I'm, if you want to be precise. Yeah. It will be like uh, one and a half months to two months. Yeah. yeah. And this also where we have to skip the classes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Most of like some occasions or something. I have like yeah. I've already taken few classes of each, so it happens all many of the times. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rahul, uh, the classes will happen weekends also or uh, only working only days? Weekdays, Monday to Friday. Okay. If you want something in weekend, I will let you know prior. Okay. Okay, okay, fine. Thank you.